1901, the Monsanto Company started as a small chemical startup. They introduced their Roundup pesticide in 1976. In 1987, Monsanto began field trials with biotechnology. The company successfully developed their first genetically modified organism, or GMO, Roundup Ready Soybeans, in 1993. A GMO is a life form or organism that has been genetically modified by the artificial insertion of the GLLs that gives said organisms a desired characteristic. In Monsanto's case, the resistance to the plant killer, Roundup. Also, some of these GMOs are genetically supplemented with pesticides. According to Monsanto, since 2001, the focus of the company has been modifying seeds to produce high-yield crops and plants that can be genetically compatible with their pesticide and herbicide products for the international farming industry. Their website states, Monsanto of today is focused on agriculture and supporting farmers around the world in their mission to produce more while conserving more. We're an agricultural company. There has been quite a controversial debate in the scientific community when it comes to GMOs. Monsanto Company states their products should raise no safety concerns and that GMO food is completely safe for consumption. Independent research suggests that consumption of Monsanto GMOs and GMOs treated with the Roundup herbicide are the cause of serious damaging effects in mammalian animals and some plant organisms. No one gets up in the morning saying, I want to go buy a genetically engineered food. They offer no benefits, no more nutrition, no more flavor, no nothing. They only offer risks. Some examples of these scientific studies are as follows. In China, research conducted on the Microcystis aeruginosa plant algae, which plays a very important role in its ecosystem, resulted on Roundup inhibiting cell growth, effectively killing the organism. A recent international and inter-university research effort between institutions from Italy and France conducted a lifelong study on the effects of rats who maintained a diet of Roundup-resistant GMOs, Roundup-resistant GMO with Roundup, and Roundup alone. The study resulted with high death rates, lower lifespans, and higher tumor growth rates on the rats that were fed low levels of Roundup and Roundup-resistant GMO. In female groups, tumor rates were eightfold found in the control group. In male groups, tumors were fivefold the control group. The GMO treated group with the highest number of abnormalities for both females and males was the low dosage group, which contained a concentration that is less than the legally prohibited in America's GMO foods and water sources. Glyphosate, the active ingredient behind Roundup, has been proven to be toxic to bacteria. A study on E. coli resulted in metabolic starvation, energy drain, and other effects to include the suppression of the chicumate pathway. The chicumate pathway links metabolisms of carbohydrates to biosynthesis of aromatic compounds. It also branches onto other metabolic pathways. Thus, it is crucial to an organism's survivability. The chicumate pathway is found in microorganisms both eukaryotic and prokaryotic bacteria, fungi, and plants. A reminder is needed that the human body contains hundreds of bacterial organisms more than it does human cells. Be afraid. Glyphosate-treated plants have been shown to have excess ammonia. In humans, it has been proven that ammonia plays an important role in acute and chronic liver dysfunction. Not only are we subject to an increase of ammonia in our bodies due to the ammonia excreted in GMO produce, but it has been reported that in humans, glyphosate impairs the liver, which is then unable to perform detoxification of ammonia via the urea pathway. In turn, upping the ammonia level in the human body effectively makes your body more toxic. Advocates for GMO will say that they are safe and easily controlled. However, studies in Europe have shown differently. Our discovery that we were finding transgenic corn maybe a thousand miles from the nearest legal transgenic corn field was a huge problem for them because it really showed very simply and with real evidence that they really did not have control. 
Although this problem was originally from another company in Europe, Monsanto's wheat from 2005 that was discontinued has now been found in a random field in Portland in the United States. And no one knows where the wheat came from since Monsanto swears it destroyed all tested material after abandoning the program. <laughs> but now, folks, now, now the wheat's back and the company has a perfectly good explanation. Monsanto says it is mystified by the appearance of the wheat. <laughs>